<clears throat> All right, I just really wanted to go through quickly and show you for the leaf generator. Um, I know you guys were starting to play with this and having some struggles. So if we look at the leaf generator, I've just um, thrown on, you know, uh, I haven't tried to make it look like a good tree, but I'm just trying to make it have something. So gone through, I've got some branches and I've added the leaf generator. Now you see that my leaves are coming in um, from this China berry um, leaf and you see that they're all kind of stacked up, all the atlases are. So what I need to do is if we come back here to looking at our tree, and if we go to use variant and I check that on, you see that it disappears. If we mouse over this, it gives you a tool tip and says, if you're using input multiple leaf types to be scattered separately, each variation must have a variation integer attribute starting at zero. Okay, so what I did was I threw down a for each connected piece, which is that one right there. And what that'll do is it'll create a connectivity stop in this for each loop. On that for each loop, I selected the for each beginning and I told it to create a meta import node, which creates this node here. We select this node, we'll see that there's an iteration, number of iterations, value and I value. And what that's doing is it's giving us an ability to figure out what piece of geo, what number is the piece of geo that we're stepping through. And there's seven, and so it'll be an, a zero indexed value that comes back based on this as it steps through each object of connectivity in that leaf so now I come into here on my attribute wrangle and I say I, which is an integer, which is what it's looking for as an integer, and then at variant, because that's what it told me if I come back here, it tells me it's looking for a, uh, oh, but I have that wrong. Variation is what I need to name it, but it's an integer. So I need to come back in here and call this variation. And then I do equals CHI, which means create a channel, like a UI channel, I meaning that it'll be an integer. And then I name it okay, with a bracket. And then I use the little quote marks, get iteration, and then end it with a semicolon. Then I click this little button over here, which creates all my spare parameters for every time there's a CH call, which creates this get iteration, right? That's what I made up here. And then I put in this little bit of X, it says detail, Okay, and then a paren, and then this is a relative path to that data node, which is right here. And then I close that, I put a comma, and then I have to give it the name. And so again, I put it in little quote marks, iteration, right? We'll see that, we see that here, iteration. Close that, and then I have to give it a default value if we can't find it, which is zero. So now if we look at this, here are all my, my China leaf, China berry leaves. And now if I go geometry spreadsheet, I will see under my point attribute, there's this variation. And if you see when I click that, it goes from zero to six. So I've got each one of those is now tagged as its own variation. So now I should be able to come in here and look at our tree setup. And if I just change this down to here now instead, we should get some leaves, which we're not. Hmm, hold on. Okay, so <laughs> it was variant, uh, which this is poo poo on them for saying that you need to have uh, a variation integer attribute starting at zero. <clears throat> so when I went inside here, I didn't even unlock it. I just came in and looked at the variant attribute wrangle that they're looking for. And you see there it creates it based on variant, which is why the first time I had this name variant. So now if we go and we look at this is we don't have like we had before, right, which was this, which is all of them stacked up. Now we have this, which is using uh, each instance of a leaf is only using one variation of that that's on there. Um, so then from here, you would go on to adjust this and actually make it look like a real tree. But I hope this helps. That should give you an idea of how to use those variations. So with Houdini, um, you'll see this a lot in the vegetation system as well, that you need to have the right attributes on an object. So you can have an object that's a bunch of merged data go into one scatter system and based on an attribute in there that gives some uniqueness to each piece that you want to scatter, it'll then scatter based on that, that unique tag, um, that unique attribute. In this case, it is variant, right? So now you see that we got 
ton of junk, but it's this guy variant. So give that a try. So you'll see that that breaks it up now. And now I've got these China berry leaves so that they're, they're only using one per leaf instance. So hope that helps.